after seven to have a more in-depth discussion on what happened on the markets yesterday. We're joined on the line by Hussein Syed, who's the chief market strategist at FXTM. And as I mentioned earlier, our studio commentator, Mark, uh, Martin Strauss, is the director at Sharenet Johannesburg. Hussein, I'm going to start off with you. We kicked off the week with news, uh, you know, out of the U.S. saying that the what was actually perceived as the longest government shutdown has is finally over. That is at least temporarily. Did the markets react to it? <laughs> exactly. It just mentioned the world that it is going to be early. So we don't know. Maybe after three weeks, the, the U.S. government will be shutting down again. And this is, again, it's going to be buying the market. After all, we didn't see this kind of big moves, even after Trump announced. Uh, the government uh, is back to work again. And in fact, uh, most of the investors now in the markets are focusing on something else. They're focusing on earnings. They are focusing on uh, a growth. They are focusing on the trade negotiations, what's happening in Brexit. So it doesn't seem the government shutdown has a lot of concern to the market at this moment. Yeah, I actually understand what you mean because you also got the same, I suppose, the same theme and mood at the World Economic Forum in Davos because key leaders, key G7 leaders weren't there. Uh, President Donald Trump was in there, President Xi Jinping was in there, Theresa May, various others as well. And even though they were talking about serious things that were happening, it, it, it's sort of like it lost its effect a little bit. Did you get that sense? I mean, this was... This was the funny part that and during Davos, uh, I think most headlines were focusing on who was not in the meeting rather than what's happening in the meeting. And I think what, what we got from Davos is a confirmation that the economy is slowing down. But what are we going to see in terms of trade? There was no answers to this. What are we going to see in terms of Brexit? There was also no answers to this. And this will keep the market uh, and, and like most of the investors, especially those who I'm, I'm talking to, they are on the sidelines because they're not being able to take any action. Right. Uh, Martin, I'm going to bring you into this conversation locally on when you look at our market and how it performed. What was your assessment? Uh, Anastasia, uh, you know, we saw the brand weaken quite a bit yesterday, uh, down to 13 and 70 odd to the dollar. The SA Incorporated stocks uh, led the losses. We saw the banks down, you know, around about 2%. The food retailers down 1.6%. Healthcare down another 1.4%. And, you know, gold and platinum miners edged higher because uh, investors are running to more safe haven assets. Uh, and it's just sort of global fears and global uncertainty that I think is spilling over to emerging markets, including ourselves. Mm. And in terms of uh, results out or trading updates from any particular companies that caught your attention? Yeah, lots of results out, uh, well, still coming this week, but we had the big one yesterday from Caterpillar, uh, which obviously missed on earnings, but also uh, markets really looking at that guidance for management and saying that they're expecting a slowdown in China uh, going forward. And, you know, coupled with the trade negotiations that are taking place at this stage, the fact that, you know, we've got the whole Huawei debacle, it's sort of hindering uh, us coming any any way closer to some kind of a deal between the US and China uh, you know all of these all of these factors are combining yeah. uh, and, and we are seeing that the negativity and the share price uh, of caterpillar actually down uh, around about 10 percent yesterday that's a big fall for yeah. for, for, for a big manu uh, manufacturer like that Hussein, going into this week, uh, what will you be keeping uh, an eye on? I mean, what will likely be I suppose more meaningful in terms of news for the market? I mean, this point that you have just mentioned now, especially on Caterpillar results, it's really interesting because, you know, it's been almost two, three months we have been talking about an economic slowdown. And now when you see such kind of companies, especially the cyclical type of companies, they are announcing earnings that are coming below, uh, below analysts' expectations and even the guidance for, for the next year is not that good, it almost like confirms this view that yes, we are really getting into a slowdown. So I think this year we will have, this, this week, we have to continue focusing on uh, earning results. We have the tech, the big tech giants like Apple, Microsoft, uh, Alibaba, we have some others from uh, Tesla, Amazon. So all these numbers will give us a better idea on what could be happening next. And um, uh, 
you know, we, we do have also the, the Chinese president, uh, uh, Xi Jinping, the vice president, uh, Liu He. He will be meeting a trade representative, uh, Robert Pfizer and uh, Sidin Mnuchin, on Wednesday and Thursday. And this meeting is just happening after uh, we saw U.S. filing criminal charges against Huawei. So I don't know if this is going to be complicating uh, the negotiations between them. And then, of course, the Fed is going to be a very important meeting to see if they will continue to be cautious uh, in terms of uh, tightening policy further. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very busy week. But these are the three or four main uh, things that we're focusing on at the moment. Hussein, thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Hussein Saeed as the Chief Market Strategist at FXTM.